A new arrest in the Ahmad Arbery case. You'll likely remember Ahmad is the young black man seen in this video jogging through a mostly white neighborhood in Georgia when he was stopped and fatally shot. The killing was caught on tape and it sparked national outrage. After nearly three months and four different prosecutors on the case, the two men seen in the video, Travis and Gregory McMichael, father and son, were arrested and charged with Ahmad's murder. What has remained unclear is why this man, William Roddy Bryan, took out his cell phone and filmed the last moments of Ahmad's life and why he was at the scene in the first place. Late today, Bryan was arrested and charged with felony murder and criminal attempt to commit false imprisonment. Bryan has said he had no involvement in the shooting itself and insists he has fully cooperated with investigators. Last week, as Bryan sat next to his attorney, he had this to say on Good Morning America. It was very unsettling. I've you know never experienced anything like that before. Um, I really felt sorry, and I mean all kinds of emotions, but sorry was definitely one of them for the family of whoever the young man was that I did not know. Um, I just you know. I don't really know what else to say other than it was unsettling. You know, I've, I've never experienced that and I don't care to experience it again. I really don't. If, I, if the video wasn't there, I don't think there would be an outcome that anybody would be satisfied with because I don't think anybody would know the outcome. Um, but I'm not proud that I shot the video. Um, but maybe it helps in the end. And we now bring in Lee Merritt, a civil rights lawyer who represents Aubrey's parents, for his reaction to this new arrest. So thanks so much for joining us, Lee. Thank you for having me. Uh, first, this is something that you and Ahmad's family have been pushing for. What's their reaction to word of his arrest? Uh, the family is extremely relieved. Wanda, I spoke to her, and, and she she wasn't sure that this was going to happen, but we, we all knew that it should happen. And so um, to have him arrested, we know that's just one step. Um, we think that he was a part of the conspiracy to murder her son and that we, we're looking forward to a vigorous prosecution. And, and Brian has says that he was not involved in the killing and that, in fact, by filming it, that that may have even helped in the end. Why don't you believe him? Well, Brian is saying, that, uh, Mr. Brian was saying that he was not involved today. Uh, on the day of the shooting, he told law enforcement officers, according to the police report, uh, that he used his car to block Ahmad's path. That's when everybody was treating Ahmad like he was a criminal as opposed to a victim. And so it was popular to say that at the time. Today, now that we all realize that Ahmad was a victim, uh, he's changed his story. Uh, but those facts bore him out. How he got there. Um, what was his reason for following Ahmad around in the first place and what role he really played, I think, is, is, is going to come into light and is the reason for the arrest today. Do you think that it's significant that in the video he's already rolling, it appears, uh, before he arrives at the scene? It, it's not as if somebody witnessed something and then said, oh, let me start recording this. That's that's exactly right. He, he he was clearly trailing behind Ahmad even before you see the McMichaels come into the to the frame. Uh, he is behind Ahmad recording, and as if he knew something was about to happen. I think that he knew that he was about that Ahmad was about to encounter the McMichaels because that's what they set up to happen. And, and Lee, just curious, I think that the latest report suggests that it was a former attorney um, who released this video. Was there any, are you aware of any of the, how that video even got into the hands of, of this uh, man who apparently at one time represented the McMichaels? And, and that's really important. He, Rod, Roddy, of course, took the video at first, and that's his role in this case so far. Uh, but uh, he never turned it over to the family. He never turned it over to, to anyone uh, in terms of the public. Uh, it was a lawyer for the McMichaels who eventually released it and caused this public outcry that we're seeing now. Are you concerned about getting a fair trial? 
We are, and we, we've been pushing for safeguards to ensure a fair trial. A lot of them have happened. Uh, Joyette Holmes being uh, the Cobb County District Attorney who was brought in, of course, the fourth district attorney, but someone we believe that was conflict-free and uh, who could vigorously prosecute the case. Uh, next up, of course, is the question of jurisdiction, and uh, we, we have a, a new judge in the case, and, and we believe in his ability to be fair as well. Lee Merritt, thank you so much for your time and your insight. We appreciate it. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.